Welcome to Makeup My Glump. My name is Leanne. It's Sunday morning. And I'm ready to try a foundation from my collection and a lip from my collection to see if I still like them. So I thought I'd let's do makeup. I don't know what we'll talk about, but we'll hang out together. Let's let's do it. I'm gonna prime with the Laneige Glowy serum primer doodad here and I've already done on my skincare of course my nails came off last night I called it done one of them got like kind of caught in my hair and I was like I'm done so <laughs> I took them off but I do have nail glue coming the nails are in great shape so I think what I might do is maybe redo the manicure with like actual glue I've never had nail glue but uh, I ordered some from Ulta and I think it's either arriving Monday or Wednesday you know something like that so I might just reuse the manicure I used a kiss press on manicure that I really like it's just a black glossy and so I'll just reuse them and glue and they were in great shape. All right, so we've got eye primed, we've got face primed. I'm gonna use, do I wanna use, I've got a serum foundation to try again today. This is the Flower Beauty Get Real Serum Foundation. I don't remember what I thought of this, y'all. Who only knows? How long ago I used it. It's in Porcelain LI1. No clue. Um, do I want to put like a, I don't think I want to put a highlighter underneath. Maybe, uh, maybe just a touch. Ah, I can't stand it. Let's use the LYS Brave Aim High like liquid highlighter. It's just, we'll use a little bit, not two tons. I love putting a highlighter all over my face and being glowy. I love it. Ooh, some more came out. Hold on. Get back in your house. Okay. This is a pretty liquidy one. Like runny, viscous, if you will. So it's pretty good. I like her. Uh, it looks super dark, but it's not. That's... That's the key. Okay, we've shook them out of this. Yo, I don't even know. I don't even know what she looks like. Now she's viscous. Like she's a runny thing. Okay, flower get real serum. Here oh, we go. I'm wearing straight up pajamas. Like I just took a shower, did the weekly hair wash, got got into pajamas again. It is one of those days, I think. School started for me. And so I spent most of yesterday, after getting ready with y'all in the morning, working on school stuff. It's hard. <laughs> it's, learning is hard, y'all. Okay, I've taken an e.l.f. powder brush, which needs to be washed again. We'll get to it. And I've just slapped it on. And then typically what I would do is use a damp sponge to kind of press it in, remove any brush strokes that were on my face. This is some light coverage, y'all. I don't, I, I need some comfort. All right, let's do another, let's do another layer, maybe on our cheeks, maybe. Let's see how she, if she can blend, blend, build up. I don't know, kids. I don't know. So I think I'll add, as far as like making a decision on a foundation or a lip product that, you know, I'm trying out, I'll use it as many times as I need to, to have a definitive answer. So this could take freaking 15 years. I don't know. But at least I'll know. <laughs> I'll know. 
Okay, we've tried to build it up here. Let's get the remaining bit on our chin and then we'll take a look at it close up. Okay, a couple things right off the bat. Number one, tis glowy, of course. Now I have glowy stuff underneath, but the foundation itself is also glowy, which makes sense. It's a serum foundation. It looks like skin. Like it does not look makeup-y at all on my skin up close. It doesn't, which is nice. That that's that's something in its favor for sure, is that it doesn't look like cakey makeup. I think it looks nice. Color's fine. I'm slightly concerned about the wear time, but we'll find out. We will see how she goes. Okay, so there's that. I don't hate it. <laughs> I don't hate it, which is great. Um, concealer, let's do, I've got a couple things that I've just obviously got over here. Um, do we want to do something different? I don't know. I'm still trying to make my mind up about this Revlon concealer, so let's use her again today. It's this new... Color Stay Skin Awaken. It's got caffeine and vitamin C. It's weird. I don't know how I like it. Not sure yet. But we'll figure it out. I also need to do this to my concealers. But I, there's only so many variables I can do in deciding whether or not I like a product. Somebody asked me about my favorite Dossier fragrances um, the other day, and I think I'm going to actually just do a favorite, like my current favorite fragrances in general. Uh, there's a couple of Dossier ones that I absolutely love. There's a couple of Bath and Body Works fragrances that I'm still like obsessed with right now, and then some other perfumes that I've found, some other fragrances that I've found. Um, so I think I'll do that just in case you have the same scent interest or appreciation that I do because I oh, see that's I don't know what do we think like it, you can see lines already but I mean, that's usual I don't know I don't know how I feel about it I just don't know I don't know okay she's our next wonder stick So I'm starting to lose pigment, my pink pigment in some of my hairs right around my face. And it's very likely, this happens um, quite frequently. Um, when I first get my hair done, it happens usually because I wash my face, uh, you know, every, every night. And uh, usually in the morning, if I, um, it just depends. If I'm taking a bath or a shower, it will, I have different products in both places. You know what I mean? Like, I don't, like, take my cleanser from my shower if I'm going to take a bath. and what, Like, it's a weird. Anyway, so different products in different places. I think the cleanser in my shower is harsher than the cleanser that I use if I'm taking a bath. Or if I'm taking a bath and, and I can, like, just sometimes I just use a micellar water depending on the morning. I don't know. It just depends. But I think I've been using the harsher cleansers more than normal so anyway um i will need i will need to get some more color in my hair for my lovely colorist i've made an appointment and she's crazy booked because she's so very talented and uh so she will be adding more color not like rebleaching or anything we're not it, i only do that about twice a year like period like i don't do rebleaching very often because i don't need to um, I don't bleach down. She doesn't bleach down to my roots because I have an allergy to bleach. <laughs> so I found that out the hard way. But um, I am super happy with uh, just having like roots, my actual roots. Um, that's why I have them is because I can't put bleach um, on or super near my, my scalp because I will have an allergic reaction. But I'm super happy with... Um, the way that she does 
my color so that it looks cool in my opinion. And I'm my solo one that counts. <laughs> so I love it. Um, we're still just, we're just working on the little LA Colors powder from the Dollar Tree. And see, like, when I put powder in my hair, like, like I have to be kind of careful to either wipe it out. And sometimes I don't. It just looks like it's fading. And it's my fault because I've been using products <laughs> to wash my face and I get it in my hair. Um, okay, let's use my Moira, Moira Life's a Picnic Face Palette. And uh, I want to use the, the bronzer called Spill the Tea. We're just going to. We're not doing anything today. Working some more on schoolwork. And then, we're not going to talk about the fact that I didn't finish the book last night. I'm not going to talk about it. I'm going to finish the book. I'm going to finish the book. Um, I hope I'm going to finish the book today. <laughs> That's a very beautiful bronzer. It's called Spill the Tea. This is something I've never tried before. This is a Jouer, um blush duo it's it's a it's the rose gold blush duo it's got the shades marigold and rose petal stop it um this is gorgeous i'm going to use the darker one i'm assuming it's marigold oh my gosh that's so beautiful that's pretty that's beautiful I like that a lot. This shirt, by the way, says that's how I like it, was a Halloween shirt from Old Navy. And I got it the first time that we went after hearing that Old Navy was going inclusive sizing. So when you go into the store, their items are available in straight sizing and plus sizes. And so when I went that first time, I bought all the things. And this is one of the things I bought. And I love it. <laughs> it makes me so happy. Um, just to have a cute shirt that I didn't have to like go in store and find it. I love that. All right. Use the finishing powder. Uh, it's a beauty powder from MAC called Play It Proper. Um, we'll never buy that again in my life, um, but simply because it gets hard pan. Uh, I have a lot of other finishing powders that I like that don't get hard pan, so I'm just using it up. Uh, love that. The Velour Highlighter from AOA Studio. Oh, thank you very much. Okay, let's do some brows. I did pull a brow pencil that I wanted to try. This is the Laura Geller Brow Gel Pencil. It's in a universal color. Um, she's got a spoolie, the pencil, and then she's got a sharpener in the lid, which is pretty neat. This came in a kit that my mom gave me for Christmas of Laura Geller products. I haven't tried it yet. Okay, it's very creamy. That's really nice. That spoolie is really rough, but that's a good thing because it certainly combs through the brow and gets that product distributed quickly. So be careful. She creamy. Wow, that's a nice one. That's a really nice pencil. Laura Geller Brow Gel Pencil in the shade Universal. And there we have it. Yet another brow pencil that will work. Hooray. Okay, we look mighty glowy and beautiful. I am not mad at it. Okay, let all... Okay, I know what I want to do for my eyes. And it's, I want to use the Mandalorian palette again. And I want to use that... This middle shade. I want to use... It's just stunningly gorgeous. It's going to be... I probably should have my eyes first. But here we are making mistakes. Hanging out making mistakes. So I think I'm going to start with a flat shader brush and just get, get it on my lid. It's beautiful. It's just dark, 
it's a multi-chrome. It looks like it's gonna blend out red maybe, but it's green and brown and I think it's gonna blend out red. So I'm just gonna get it on my lid and then I will blend upwards. It may just be a single shadow look today. I don't know. I love these multi-chromes to just be the look. You know what I mean? Like we're not, and this is not, this is not wet in any way. It's just a thing. Okay. I'm just going to take a brush. This is a, an Away Studio brush. I used it yesterday, so it's got a little bit of mint on it, but that's okay. We're going to clean that off. And then I'm just going to buff back and forth in my crease to <clears throat> blend the shade upwards to its natural color when blended out. And that's what we're going with, I think. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Yep, it's blending out a red. I say red, it's a ruddy kind of brown. It's not like full on red, you know what I mean? I might actually use my finger and go over like the center of my lid to make that even poppier. That is gorgeous. Okay. I believe it's still on sale at Ulta. And I think it's half price. So I think it's like $9. Um, this is gorgeous. I have an old uh, Kat Von D shade that was a single that was like this. It's in one of my Z palettes. And it's this green shifting brown shifting red shade. And I used to wear it all the time. And I would do just this. I, if, if my eyes looked like bruises, then I'd done it right. And I know that sounds crazy, but that is a look. And I love it. That is so beautiful. It is deceptively colorful. I don't know how to describe it. Because if you look right at me, it doesn't look, you know, super pigmented or crap, but it is. It's just beautiful. Okay, I do want to try a little bit on my finger. And let's just get a little bit. Yes, queen. Okay, that's what I want. Color Pop the Mandalorian. That center shade, that's the one you want, kids. Gosh, that's pretty. That's exactly how I thought it would be. Exactly. In this pan, it looks green, but it's this color. How could you not love that? Gosh, that's pretty. And I haven't even like done that. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use it again and again because there are so many beautiful shades in here. This shade needs nothing else. You could do a whole look with it, of course, but it is just, it's beautiful. That is gorgeous. Now, if you want, you, and I'll probably, I'm probably, I'm going to do this right now. Um, I'm going to take some on my lower lash line today, which I never do, but I'm going to because I think this would lend itself to that very nicely. I'm going to use an angle brush. This is like a brow brush, but I use it for eyeliner. You can do whatever you want to with whatever brushes you got and whatever way you want to use them, baby. I'm gonna get the shade on there. And then I'm gonna take a slightly smaller brush. This is like an E25, a Sigma E25. Oh cool, that actually is a Sigma E25. <laughs> it's not like it, it is one. Uh, a lot of different brands have a brush like this. It works really well for the outer corner for me, but I'm gonna use this as a blending shade for underneath. Look how beautiful that is. You cannot tell me that that is not stunning. Stop it. I look gorgeous. <laughs> I don't care what you say. <laughs> I'm going to tight line and water line with a black because this type of look is exactly the type of look 
that begs for it. Like it just does. Here, I'll do one eye and then I'll show you. See? Now, still this. Yep. Stop it. This is beautiful. Sorry for the dogs. Ooh, I just, look at what they made me do. <laughs> look at what the dogs made me do. Hold on. I don't want that much. <laughs> super happy with that now you can do the wings and the all that and the lashes I'm not going to I'm gonna leave it just like this I'm gonna do regular mascara and I think ooh, itching nose. I'm gonna do lash princess with this one because I want some impact oh my gosh I'm beautiful saw a tiktok of um a young lady who said that her therapist told her that she should write down everything she wishes that he would tell her. And he, she did not define. She didn't say, this is my significant other or my father or, you know, like she just said, he, which is great. It also could be she. But anyway, she said, write down everything you wish he would say to you and then start saying those things to yourself. And I thought, that is not bad. That is really good advice. So in your life, if somebody is not saying things to you that you want them to say to you, right? And this isn't like about that relationship, whatever that relationship is and whatever you need to do in that relationship, your business. But the fact that you can take what you want them to say to you and you can say it to yourself, it's very powerful. There you go. Think about it. It could be your boss at work. It could be somebody that has passed away that can no longer say those things to you that you wish they could, say them to yourself. <laughs> Tell yourself you're a good daughter or a good son or that you're proud of me. Or that you're a good mom or dad or friend or whatever. Say it to yourself. There you go. Oh my goodness. I am stunning. I'm stunning. I don't, you can't, you can't even stop me right now. Also, I can't fit my mascara back. Here we are. Okay, here's the lip. I don't know that it goes. <laughs> We're going to use it anyway. Okay, this is a Korean thing. It's like a little lip tint. And it looks like a little popsicle. It's the cutest thing ever. But I can't remember what I think of it. So this is a toot house. Sorry about that. It's on the, the stopper thing. Okay. So it's a little tiny thing here. I cannot remember what I think of this. It smells like grape soda. I am mad at that.
it's super thin and watery I guess there's a hair or something okay while that dries I'm gonna spray my face do our trick This makeup is not looking great, like on my upper lip. Mm. You can see all the hairs on my face, which is not typical. This is looking weird, y'all. I don't know, Flower Beauty. Mm. I'm not looking hopeful. I'm not looking good. We're going to leave it. We're going to wear it. I mean, from afar, I look stunning, but... I don't know that I actually like the foundation itself. I love these eyes so much. I feel like I have this inside my mouth. But I can't see that I've got it inside my mouth. <laughs> okay, what do we think? Comments? Any? How do you think this eye look is so I'm, I'm going to stop saying it. I'm just going to hang up the phone and stop talking to you. But it's stunning. I don't know how I feel about this lip. I don't know how I feel about it. <laughs> this is why we're trying things. Is to figure out how we feel about stuff. And I don't know how I feel about it. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me yet again. Trying some makeup out. Doing some makeup. Hanging out. Chatting to one another. I appreciate y'all so much. Um, I do need to film an empties because I've got some and I'd like to show you what I've used up and get that trash out of here. Um, so I'll be doing that at some point fairly soon. And uh, yeah, thanks so much for hanging out. Y'all have a great rest of your day.